Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Donna from Donna Gills Designs and in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this cow rhinestone pen. Everything I use in today's video as always for you guys will be listed down in the description below along with my links to my social media in case you want to follow me there. So let's go ahead and get started. So I like to use the MakerFlow pens and they come in these cute little packaging. So if you don't make your own packaging, you can just use these once the rhinestone pens are completed. They do fit really, still fit really well in these packaging. So what I like to do is unscrew that pen and take that barrel off, put the pen back together and put it back in the packaging and setting it aside for now. This way I don't lose any parts. And then what I like to do is I like to use these little mini um, nail sanding buffer that I use for my nails um, and just giving it a light sand and then spray it down with some rubbing al alcohol and wipe it down with a paper towel. Now I do apologize guys I did not realize my camera was not filming when I did that first row. So if you don't know how to do the first row of a rhinestone pen please check out any of my previous pens and you can view it there and once again I do apologize for that. So you've seen me use that Expo marker and when I'm using a sublimation pen that's what I like to do to mark the beginning of each row set so that my template I'm using for this you know will come out perfectly. Um, the reason why I chose to use a sublimation pen instead of a stainless steel pen today is just because the base of this pen was white and I just wanted to skip the step of painting my pen white so I just chose to use a sublimation pen instead. So for all of my pens I do like to do the honeycomb method so what that means guys is I'm placing a rhinestone in between the two previous stones from the previous row and we're going to do that all throughout. Um, this pen. Now for this style pen, if this is one of my templates and it is available on my website for you guys. If you've purchased my templates before, you know that um, I give you a picture of the pen so you know what it should look like when it's done. I give you a color chart so you know what colors I used, what size I used, and um, how many rhinestones of each color along with two graphs and some tips and tricks. Um, the rhinestones I'm using today are obsidian and white, both from PDB Creative Studios. Their link is down in the description below for you guys, along with a discount code. Okay, so we're just going to go through the whole pen, you know, using the same method. And I'm just following the template, you know, that I made for you guys for this one. This one actually was a suggestion for my husband to do. Um, I'm not really a big farming person, so um, some of you will, may enjoy this, some of you guys may not, but, and I don't know if you know this, I have received several suggestions from some of my subscribers of pens I'd like to see, so if you do have a suggestion, please put it down in the comment section, and I'd be more than happy to try to, you know, make a pen for you for whatever style you're looking for. You know, so I have posted quite a lot of um, rhinestone pen tutorials these last couple months. I started making rhinestone pens last year. I just got really into it. I mostly make tumblers, but you know, this was um, something I have really gotten into. And I do have a lot more templates coming up, especially for Christmas, guys. So be on the lookout for that. You know, so we're still, you know, working our way down the pen here and. It, it came out so cute and I'm really happy with it. So when I'm done with my pens, I like to let them sit out to air dry for three days. Once that time is up, I like to take a soft bristled nail brush and dish soap and wa warm water and just wash it. And just to get off like any wax that might have come off, you know, from the rhinestone picker for that. And then I'll put it back together, which I'm doing here for you guys, just unscrewing that barrel. Put, uh, I mean, unscrewing the pen, putting the barrel on, and screwing it back on. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. And I hope everybody has a fabulous day. See you later.